You've probably heard the buzz about Aptera, that futuristic three-wheeled solar-powered EV that looks like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. But here's the thing. Despite all the hype, Aptera hasn't actually finalized their pricing yet. And that's fascinating. Because behind that mystery lies one of the biggest opportunities this company has. And maybe one of its biggest risks, too. A lot of people look at Aptera and instantly start comparing it to everything else on the market. Tesla, Rivian, Chevy Bolt, you name it. But here's what most people miss. Aptera isn't like anything else on the market. It's not trying to be your average EV. It's trying to redefine what an electric vehicle even is. And that's why I believe, maybe more than anything, Aptera should widen their price ladder. Let me explain. So far, we know that Aptera's launch edition is expected to start around $35,000. Not bad for something that promises 400 miles of range and can literally charge itself under the sun. But here's where critics jump in. They say, wait, $35,000 for a two-seater, three-wheel EV? That's not competitive. They start stacking it up against Model 3s, Bolts, and ID4s, cars that are bigger, more traditional, and yes, maybe more normal. But here's the thing. Aptera isn't supposed to be normal. It's a radical rethink of what personal transportation can be. Lightweight, aerodynamic, ultra-efficient, and, in many ways, self-sustaining. So, when people complain about price, they're comparing apples to spacecraft. Because if you compare Aptera's launch model to any other EV with a 400-mile range, suddenly, that 35K looks like a steal. Now, everyone loves to bring up Tesla's mythical $25,000 car. We've been hearing about that since, well, forever. But let's be honest, Tesla's track record on timelines isn't exactly spotless. And if you've read Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk, you already know that affordable Tesla has been pushed to the side again and again in favor of robo-taxis and next-year breakthroughs. At this point, the 25K Tesla is like Bigfoot, talked about, maybe even spotted in a blurry photo, but never actually delivered. So no, I don't think Aptera should lose sleep over Tesla's promises. The EV world is full of delays and U-turns. And while others are busy chasing moonshots, Aptera can quietly dominate the segment no one else is even trying to build. Here's what really excites me about Aptera's future. It's scalable. Unlike most EV startups that struggle to go down market, Aptera's minimalist design actually gives it flexibility. During my factory tour, I learned the base model might include a 26 kilobond battery pack capable of 260 miles of range. That's already impressive. But there's talk from the CEO himself about experimenting with lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, or even sodium ion cells in the future. Those chemistries are cheaper, safer, and more stable in cold weather. Imagine if Aptera could use them to produce a budget version in the low $20,000 range, still solar-assisted, still ultra-efficient, but way more accessible. That could change everything. Think about it. An EV that goes over 200 miles per charge, recharges itself, and costs less than most used sedans? That's not just competition. That's disruption. Part of what makes this idea possible is Aptera's sheer simplicity. No paint shop, no complex chassis, just six main body parts, two doors, and three wheels. That's it. Fewer parts mean fewer failure points, faster production, and, most importantly, lower costs. Even the interior is stripped down to what matters. Comfort, efficiency, minimalism. And for people using it as a commuter vehicle, which most owners will, 200 to 250 miles of range is more than enough. So if Aptera can use cheaper battery chemistries, fewer motors, or simpler drive systems, say, 
a single rear motor instead of dual front ones, they could hit a price that makes the EV market stop and stare. Let's talk about long-term savings, because this is where Aptera really wins hearts. If you're paying 10 seers per kilowatt hour, it would cost you less than $2 to drive 200 miles. Even in expensive states like California, maybe $5 at most. That's an entire road trip for the price of a coffee. Compare that to any gas vehicle, even a Prius, and you're looking at a fraction of the cost. No oil changes, no complex maintenance, and since Aptera is built with a right to repair philosophy, replacement parts and repairs will be way cheaper than mainstream EVs. Over five years, the total cost of ownership could rival that of a gasoline car priced around $10,000, but with none of the compromises. That's a narrative people instantly understand. This thing basically pays for itself. Now, let's flip the coin. If the entry-level Aptera can get cheaper, the high-end one should go higher. Much higher. Because here's the reality. If Aptera delivers on its promise of a 600-mile or even 1,000-mile variant, it'll be in a class of its own. No Tesla, no Lucid, no Rivian can touch that. So why price it at $45,000 or $50,000 when the people who want that kind of range are already used to paying $70,000 plus for luxury EVs? They're not buying on budget. They're buying on uniqueness. If you can drive from Los Angeles to Seattle on a single charge, you've earned the right to charge premium money for that. Aptera could easily go up to 55 k or 60 k for its ultra-long-range models and still sell out because it's not competing in the same sandbox as anyone else. So here's the big picture. If Aptera wants to truly thrive, it needs a wide pricing ladder, not a single narrow target. A budget version around 22K, 25K that democratizes solar EVs, a mid-tier model in the 30K, 35K range, the everyday commuter hero and a flagship beast at 55K, 60K that breaks range records and turns heads. That's how you build a brand that scales. You capture enthusiasts, pragmatists, and premium buyers all at once. Aptera is sitting on one of the most interesting opportunities in the EV world. They're not trying to copy Tesla. They're writing a new rule book entirely. If they play their cards right with flexible pricing, smart chemistry choices, and a focus on efficiency, they could be remembered not just as the weird three-wheeled EV, but as the company that made sustainable mobility truly affordable. So, what do you think? Should Aptera aim lower, aim higher, or both? Because if they widen their price ladder just right, this little solar spaceship might just change how the world thinks about cars altogether.